Hello, welcome to my channel and today I thought I would show you something that I have been working on for probably the last year now. So I have been planning to kind of like make a photo album, kind of memory albums of basically the years that I have stuff to remember. So yeah, for the last year or so I've been working on a memory book, kind of photo album for my Erasmus experience and um, yeah, I'm still not finished so I thought I would kind of film the end process of it and yeah, this might go on for a couple of days so you may see me change outfits and when I have finished I will show you the entire album, what I've done and hopefully when I finish this album I might go on and do like an album of uni, an album of like my volunteering experience and loads of different things like this so which I can have in my house as like memories to remember everything that I've done. So this is the album and most of the pictures that I am going to be sticking in the album are from my HP Sprocket. This is not an ad but I got it from my Christmas like two or three years ago and I just love it. I use it so much so yeah. I'm going to show you the experience, I might time lapse when I'm actually doing the album and then I'll show you the final piece. Okay, so I thought just before I started um, basically printing out the pictures and getting on to doing my album that I would just show you what I have to use um, just to basically to create the album. So first of all I always make sure I have extra uh, print sheets to put into my printer and they just look like this and they come in little packs of 10 uh, print sheets and they're sticky so um, you put them into the printer like this and then through the app on your phone which I'll show you how it works you print out the picture and it's with zinc which is just basically zero ink so you don't have to put any ink or anything all you have to do is charge it which is what I've just done and yeah then you can print out the picture and it also has a sticky back so you can stick in the pictures into your album and it's great so here i have like packs of 50 which i normally just ask for them like for christmas or birthday and they just always come in handy here i then have some like colored papers basically this is watercolors these are marble print and they just come in handy if i just want to like stick in like a couple of pages or put a picture on one of these papers and i've also got some big ones as well and I'll show you later what they look like in the book. And these are just some that I use already. <laughs> uh, I then have some numbers and letters. I think we've got numbers, yeah. Numbers down here and letters basically is one side and then the other. And they come in also capitals and um, little letters as well. And these were basically everything that I'm going to show you now was from um, the online site Hobbycraft, which I will link down below because it was great for getting everything like this and they've come in really handy to do my book. Uh, these numbers were actually from a birthday card that I bought, I bought one of my friends. Um, so she was turning 21, 22 and yeah they're just great to use just again like stickers stickers are the best thing to use for this now i do have sellotape for anything that doesn't have a sticky back but the numbers the letters have sticky backs some of the pictures have sticky backs and it's much easier to do and then i have here some pictures that i had already printed during my time on erasmus so they're just here and ready for me to stick in now these are the ones um that i printed from my hp printer and these have the sticky backs whereas these were polaroids that i ordered online and they don't have sticky backs so i just use like sellotape with these ones and then here i just have like a group of like um amount of stuff from like memories so i have um some flights that i can just like cut out and stick in i have like train tickets museum entrances anything like that that i want to stick in um can you count and come to the temple bar that was in budapest so yeah anything like this um the dome in i think that was in cologne so anything like that that i just want to go in like stick in and to have like the memory basically 
And then finally have this little box. Now I have staples which I'm not using right now from Hobbycraft. Oh. As you can see here, I also bought these like sellotapes and they're like all these different um, shiny colours, iridescent shine they're called. Obviously the ends are not sticky anymore but if you just cut it down and I use these for like maybe the edges of my pages or like the corners and they're just in all loads of different colours, they're really really cute. Then I also have some invisible sellotape which is what I've been using on the back of these pictures and that's this, basically that's what it looks like. And apart from the iridescent shine one, I also got four, I think there is, yeah, four um, of these marble sellotapes. And the, again, they're just for like sticking in, like maybe I'll stick in a memory with that or edge a page or something like that. I then got some glitter. This is metallic glitter and just like maybe to put in again on edges of some papers or just all around one page. You'll see what I've done in a bit. And I used that with um, just some glue, I think it was just like supermarket glue, just a random, <laughs> any glue will do basically to stick in the stuff that doesn't really need, obviously I can't use sellotape with glitter so I'm using my glue. Then I always need scissors if I'm cutting up the papers or anything like that. I have a pen which I use to write in the dates. I use this pen, I'm really into this like turquoise colour as you can see. So I use this kind of colour pen for anything that I want to write in the book as well, apart from like with pen. And then again from Hobbycraft, oh look, some extra. Uh, again from Hobbycraft, I have these little uh, labels, which are really cute. And they've got like the um, string on the ends and they're like copper colour. Uh, these kind of Polaroid things for your pictures. I haven't actually opened this, but I'll find a use for it with like one of the pictures or something. And they're looking, well, there's four foil photo frames. But I thought for like really important pictures, that would be really cute. I had some really random Harry Potter stickers in there, which you'll see why I used in a bit. Also have these little envelopes, which I thought were really cute. And maybe if I've got something really small I want to use and put in, I can do it with that. And I think that's it. So yeah, you will see what all this um, has come to when I show you the end of this. Now I've started it but I'm going to finish it, maybe not today, I'm going to be doing a couple of days, um, I don't know, a couple of pages a day maybe, so you might see me change outfits or whatever. I'm just going to do like a, a quick time lapse of me doing this and then when I've finished, which might be in a couple of days, might be in a week, but it'll be quick for you. Then I'll show you my end result. And this was just a book from the God of English. It's a visual journey, mixed media, 100% cotton, blah, blah. And it's got 68 pages with 40, 34 sheets. So the pages look like this. And I thought that was the best way, basically. They're really quite thick. So if you want to write on them, it's not going to go through. And it's best not to have anything on.
Okay, so um, I am now moving to Italy and I cannot finish the whole of this book, but I have done from the start of my Erasmus, which was around September, until Christmas and New Year. So that means that the next video you'll be seeing will be the end of my Erasmus, so like start of 2017, but then I'm also going to do like the rest of 2017 because I did more holidays, I had more, like did some more stuff during the summer, so I'm going to show you that in the next video, which will probably be in maybe a year, I don't know, but I do really want to do this, this is something that I have been doing for months and want to continue doing, so I'm just going to show you what I've got up to now, and I hope you like this video, if you do, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon for a very, oh, I'll see you very soon for another video. <laughs>